How are you going to make the world a better place by 2020? And so I started pondering on the question. I ended up with, uh, with a crazy idea. And if you know oil, 50% of oil in the world is used to actually drive cars. Now, it's kind of the stupidest thing we've ever done as humans because it takes hundreds of millions of years to make oil. For those of you who don't know, oil is concentrated sunlight. And you figure out that all, well, all the oil-driven things that we got, 50% of them are for transportation. 20% is actually for making plastic bags and other things that we need to put on our faces. And then the other 30% is just left over. We don't know what to do with, so we use for all kinds of industrial purposes. So much so that we run the most interesting economic experiment. We raise the gas prices in the U.S. from $1 a gallon to $3.5 a gallon. And guess what? We reduce the average drive by 0.4%. So we know that we can go up to $8 and nobody will stop driving. What they'll do is they'll stop buying big cars, which will kill the margin for the car companies, but they'll keep driving. So new rule, 50 times, five minutes or less, I got my contract. Now the first three parts of the car solution can be answered by a lot of different cars. The last one is really hard to solve for one kind of car that actually does solve the energy equation, that's an electric vehicle. We all know that the future, and everybody says that, even Bob Lutz, the guy who killed the electric vehicle, says the future is electric. But we didn't know how to put five, six hundred kilometers worth of electricity into the car in one shot, worth less than five minutes, three or four minutes. So we have a car, it's got five seats, it's electric, it goes really fast. If you've never driven an electric car, don't think of your golf cart idea. The car we've built, the prototype that we're talking about, goes zero to 100 kilometers an hour in seven and a half seconds. Probably at the final run, it will probably do it at about 10, but that's roughly the vehicle. It goes really, really, really fast. What you do is you put battery swap stations. What is a battery swap station? Think of your car wash, only not water. You go into a car wash, and an empty battery comes out, and a full battery comes in. And you keep driving. And whenever you talk to car makers, they say, oh, it will take a long time. And then we remind them of their Formula One team. And we say, if we challenge your Formula One team, how long would it take them to swap a battery? And they say, seven seconds, because they do everything in seven seconds. <laughs> you all have cell phones, right? Cars work with the same business model as cell phones today. It's called the prepaid card model. You just don't think about it that way. You buy your car, then you buy a prepaid card for 600 kilometers every time you stop. And when it's over, you buy another prepaid card for 600 kilometers. We can get you to a point where if you're signing up for a monthly fee, same as your cost for gasoline today, in four years contract, we give you a free car. EV, battery, everything. Just drive. The average car in Europe is an 8.1-year-old car. It cost $15,000 when you bought it. It now is worth $2,000, $3,000, 2,000 euros. Its gasoline cost for a year is $4,500, $5,000. In other words, gasoline is more expensive than the average car in Europe in one year. When you go to that crowd and you say, I'll give you a free car if you pay me the gasoline for three years, four years, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to swap. We had a car maker, the fourth largest car maker in the world, Renault Nissan. Carlos Ghosn stood on stage and said, we're building the car, we got the batteries, we're going to make mass production cars for this market as described, and it will be here within the next three years. We had funding. We raised $200 million from investors. The funniest one of them is Israel Corp. It's the largest holding company in Israel, and it holds Israel's refinery. This is the holding company that actually is big oil in Israel. And they said, you found another oil. It's e-gasoline. We want to be an e-gasoline. And so the oil companies are funding the transformation. And we put it all together with a framework, and we said, we're going to make it happen. We're going to put 500,000 charge spots across the entire country in every parking spot, in every home, in every workplace. We're going to put the cars on the road. We're going to put the business model together. Cars will come. And this whole thing is happening starting yesterday with experimentation that will go this year, next year, and then big market 
late 10, beginning of 11. We're going to have the first country off oil, hopefully before the end of the next decade. And we're going to have more countries coming in online before we start Israel. And we're going to expand it from transportation islands to transportation countries to transportation continents so that we can all be off oil before oil runs out of us. Thank you all very much.